All right, guys, what is up? It's Corey here with Brookside Landscape and Design. Uh, it's day one of our new project out here in Skyfall again. We've got Adam up on the hill. He's gonna be grubbing this hill out today. I'm down below prepping this lower lawn for a future pond. <laughs> What is up everybody? Adam Goyt with Brookside Landscape and Design and it is blazing. I think we are gonna hit 93, 94 today and we are working in the Dust Bowl. But I wanted to show you what we got going on so far. We're gonna be doing a 10 by 24 foot ecosystem pond. This pond is gonna have an intake bay, fish cave. Uh, our client is super excited. They've been dreaming about having koi at their house for years. Got the new house. Now they're excited to finally get that koi pond. Um, he's got a lot of fish tanks inside his house so this is just just the outdoor element he's been waiting for. So this 10 by 24 ecosystem pond is gonna have an intake bay for a couple of reasons. One for capturing debris, but also because we're doing a pretty large pump and we need that extra extra water storage uh, and intake to be able to source this pump because the pump has to push water all the way up that hill. So we're gonna be doing a waterfall up that hill. Uh, I wanna say the waterfall is gonna be about 18 feet long, maybe 20 feet long, not super long. I think we have about 12 feet of elevation. Um, so we're talking big rocks, two and three man. I'll show you, we've got pile rocks here staged. We got rocks of the street and we got rocks coming day after day. So here you can see the pond is kind of marked out. Um, this is just the first shelf and you can see we've got the aqua blocks and the pump vault stage so this will be our intake bay on the end of the pond so we'll have water traveling into this intake bay pump sits in there takes it up the hill um, what you can also see from this shot is we've already started what we're going to be doing for our erosion control on the hillside um, pretty big hillside uh, it didn't make sense to do block walls because we would have had to have done like two or three terraced walls with major setbacks it would have just blown the budget out of the water so we came at it with a different approach we're going to be doing our outcropping alpine rockery so we've already done some of that because we had to because the minute we start digging in this pond we can't get to that hillside from below we'll only be able to get to it from the top so we went ahead and started with that and it's done to a certain point now we got to come back over here start digging in our intake bay and working our way out for the pond so enjoy us digging in hard pan legit clay may as well be concrete so take it easy wanted to give you guys a quick look at what goes into setting up our aqua blocks and our pump vault. Um, it's me and Bobby here today. He's up top moving some dirt around in this heat. You know, Adam got all these rocks put in recently and I know he did an introduction for you guys. But right now, you know, I got our builder sand going in just to give a nice padding layer. Um, so there's no abrasive rocks, you know, poking through the line or anything. Getting this to the proper grade. You got our pump vault set slightly below grade so you know water flows in there correctly super hot out here today you know we got to start on the pond dig out everything's looking really good really looking forward to this project it's been awesome you know stay tuned keep watching i'll keep giving little updates all right guys day five on the project we found a massive boulder 
in our pond. Things can be real fun to dig out. What do you think, Bob? We have a big problem on our hands. <laughs> All right, we'll get at it. Alrighty guys, first rock of the pond. Made some really good progress so I'll show you guys got a lot of the rock in we just have this little section left to do and then it's starting on our waterfall we should be shooting straight up the hill over there got some of our plumbing kind of stretched out just gonna be kind of bringing in materials getting everything ready and staged so we can just finish this off hopefully tomorrow we'll get the rest of that rocked in um, today's also a pretty exciting day we got our plant well, half of our plant delivery here. Um, we got Isaac down below grabbing the last of the plants. We got Bobby showing up right now with some of our inch and a half drain rock. And everything's going really smoothly. With where we've been getting our rock, it's all getting staged down in this ditch. And the only really good way to go about it is putting it on this lawn. So yeah, we did destroy their lawn, but we'll also be making it better in the end. Well, Bobby's here with our rock, so I better get at it and find a place for that. Always like, subscribe, check out our YouTube. Alrighty. What's up everybody, Adam Goyt, Brookside, Landscape and Design. I don't know why, but I like to introduce myself every time, but I hope that you may know who I am, maybe you don't. But we are out here at this big ecosystem pond project and I just wanted to give you a quick update. We haven't done a whole lot of updates. Um, I wouldn't say it's been slow going because we have made a lot of progress, but access is pretty tight. So it's kind of systematic in how we go about this pond build and massive waterfall with an intake bit. But what I wanted to show you is a few things that we've got finished, a few attributes to the pond. So the intake bay, even though the liner's folded over, mostly complete, still has to come up. We've actually got some of our plumbing already kind of going in, um, but I wanted to show you that we got a fish cave. So that is an add-on that we will um, talk to clients about and um, they possibly add that into their pond. For this pond, it's necessary um, because he plans on putting quite a few koi in there. So nice little spot for the fish to hang out and hide. Um, we're starting to drop some lights in. We got a couple lights, mostly lights all along this side because we don't, if we put any lights on the other side, it could refract into the house and that could be really annoying to our clients in the middle, you know, in the evening when they're watching TV. So the lights are gonna be along this side, mostly shining 
towards the hillside. Of course, we've got our waterfall that we haven't gotten to yet. It will also have lights. See our three inch pipe there. We had to go with the big pipe for the big pump, but we got a lot of cool rocks in here. So some exciting stuff. We've got this big boy here that you can stand on, sheer face wall. We got some big flats that we got put in today. Pretty exciting, it's coming along. Hopefully we can get this thing finished before fall hits and this all turns into mud. Um, so that'll be the big push, but that is where we are at. So enjoy the rest. Thank you.